what uh, gravitated uh, all of us towards the program is I think first of all the community engagement part uh, where you get to work with a real uh, community partner. I think it's also interesting because the feedback you get from Cheeto are inherent the is inherently non-academic and there are issues and ways to convince Cheeto of like right moves or like our client care that that needs a different sort of language I think in order to to get this out which I think is also super interesting and also not necessarily something you are exposed to as an intern in a larger architectural firm. I went into school knowing I wanted to do some sort of public interest architecture but didn't really know like what that looked like in practice. Um, so I was excited about the opportunity to just like see one of the options and like what it would actually be like working with a community group in this sort of context. Working with um, a client where like their opinion is what matters and then work like trying to come up with designs that function within, you know, like zoning and code and a budget, I think is something that we lose a lot of in studio that drew me to this. Been like wanting to do something that is more socially dri driven in a real way. It's awesome that we have like a real client, and I I think like our team is like really excited about the work that we're doing. Like it's like personally very interesting to me, and it's amazing that it's actually going to be useful for the car center. I've been studying um, Taiwan for one year and mainly dealing with stuff about digital, um, digital pavilion, digital uh, distortion, everything about digital and all about websites. So I really need some like human interaction. Um, <laughs> In the case of like Zimbabwe, I mean, we're designing like a whole building addition plus like designing elements in the space like it's a it's a very large project so we're making um we've been calling it a flip book um it's like a comic that people can um look to say um if they're delivering food and like a client is not responding so you like flip to the red card and you check like okay like you look at the graphic comic that explains like step by step what you do we were asked to do an online exhibition for car center to showcase African-American art across the nation. And our task was to kind of build a website that could um, could showcase that art. The thing that we're doing with Sage is basically developing like an archival video montage for them uh, for a virtual summit, which is going to happen in October. So we've been conducting a lot of interviews and then like editing them and post-producing them. So a lot of graphic work. Um, yeah, so Shiloh is a community art center that has a building in Detroit um, that was originally a synagogue and then a church and then was unoccupied for a while um, before they bought it. So I think a lot of our work was like trying to figure out how we could help them come up with a proposal that they could take to a funder so that they can actually get the money they need to save the building. So Brilliant Detroit is this nonprofit organization um, basically that takes a lot of these like pieces of unused housing stock um, and goes into neighborhoods and kind of offers these places to do all this different like um, after school programming for kids. Basically they have like eight locations um, that all needed like very serious as-built work done. We've had client presentations over Zoom. We have twice weekly 90 minute team meetings um, over Zoom um, from 6 to 7.30 in the evenings. Uh, we have a Slack channel that we set up separate from the one that you created that um, we made different um, teams within it and chats and so we can, that's like our main form of communication. Um, we have made a Miro board and that's how we lead most of our design sessions. I think all of us are like very emotionally invested in this project at this point. We each had a, have a specific role in it and it's like a a medley of things that became a whole. I think it was just being honest about the differences, role clarity, and then expectations. I think that's that's what I tried to really make clear for you guys. Having a faculty mentor has been beneficial um, to helping us see things that we, like the seven of us, like are kind of like pigeonholed into not seeing. Um, so somebody to to bring it back to kind of larger questions and like both organizationally and design wise. Like Anya is irrepla irreplaceable, especially for this project, because there's a lot that we did not know going into it. And with each iteration that we proposed or each idea that we proposed, Anya had a lot of um, good comments about why 
something could work and the political connotations or social connotations of that and shifting our focus uh, away or towards something else. I'm so proud of this group like and I really feel like I feel like I'm also proud of like what we set up because I think you guys got a lot out of it like that you still want to keep doing it and all this stuff so. I I personally would like to keep working on it but it as both because I liked working with this team and working with Anya and, and working with Shiloh um, but there's also I think just as designers or students there's this reluctance to like give something up like to be done with something so it doesn't feel totally completed maybe by the time the entire package is submitted I'll be able to emotionally let go but <laughs> right. uh, it'd be nice to see it all the way to the end but who knows when that's going to be.